Hello, this is Dr. Grande. Welcome to my video on calculating average variance extracted and composite reliability using SPSS and Excel. As always, if you find this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel. I certainly appreciate it. I have in the data editor here in SPSS fictitious data, and I'll be using these data to conduct a factor analysis and then using the output of factor analysis to calculate the average variance extracted and the composite reliability. To calculate those two statistics, I'll be using Excel. So I'll copy the factor loadings from SPSS output, move it over to Excel, and then make the calculations. Taking a look at these data, I have 10 items, and each of these items represent one item on a survey. For example, a statement or a question that a participant responds to. And the response ranges are from 1 to 5. So to conduct a factor analysis using these data, I'll go to Analyze, Dimension, Reduction, and Factor. And this is the dialog for factor analysis in SPSS. So from this point, I'm going to use Control a to select all of the items and move them over into the variables list box. Under rotation, by default the method is set to none. I'm going to change that to Verimax. Click continue. For this analysis, for the purpose here of calculating average variance extracted and the composite reliability, I don't need to add any more steps, any more processes. Just click OK. And we have a few tables here in the output of uh, most interest here would be the rotated component matrix. So I'm going to double click on this and you can see for component 1 it appears that items 1 through 4 load together 0 0.908, 0 0.81, 0 0.624 and 0.555. So I'm going to treat these four items as a factor that I want to continue to investigate and in this case generate the average variance extracted and the composite reliability. So I'm going to use control C to copy these four values and I'm going to move over to Excel. Here in column E I have lambda here in this dark blue cell and lambda represents the factor loading. Center lambda, I'm going to use control V and paste the factor loadings that I generated in SPSS. And then I'm going to reformat them, reformat these cells to put the borders that match over here around the factor loadings. With the factor loadings in place, I need to make some calculations in order to move toward the final goal of calculating average variance extracted and composite reliability. The first calculation will be lambda squared, the factor loading squared. So in cell F3, the equal sign, and I'll reference cell E3, lambda, then shift 6, that's the caret symbol, and 2. So 0.82 is 0 0.908 squared, and I'll autofill this down. And then moving over to column G, you can see I have epsilon here, and that's the error variance, or 1 minus lambda squared. So it'll be equal sign, 1 minus lambda squared. And again, I'll autofill this value down. So I have lambda, lambda squared, and the error variance, epsilon. I have these values populated. And down here in row 12, I'm going to add all of these values together for each column. So I'm just going to use the sum function, equal sign sum, and then E3 through E6. And I'm just going to autofill this to the right. So I have the sums of lambda, lambda squared, and epsilon, the error variance. Now moving over to column K, cell K3, 
this will be n, or the sample size, in this case the number of factor loadings, and this is 4, so I could just enter 4 into this cell, or I could use the count function, so I'll use count, equal sign count, and I'll select a few cells here in column E, all the way down to E11, and you can see it returns 4 for the four factor loadings. And now to calculate average variance extracted. The average variance extracted is equal to the sum of lambda squared divided by n. So this will be equal sign and the sum of lambda squared would be F12. Be down here, 2.179. And then divided by the count, the number of factor loadings, in this case four. So the average variance extracted for these four factor loadings is 0.54. Now for the composite reliability calculation. Composite reliability is equal to the sum of lambda squared divided by the sum of lambda squared plus the sum of the error variance. So to perform this calculation, this will be equal sign, and it'll be the sum of lambda, which is this value in cell E12, 2.898. And then shift six for the caret symbol, and two. So the sum of lambda squared. And this will be divided by the same calculation, E12 squared, plus the sum of the error variance, which is 1.821 down here in cell G12. So the composite reliability for these four factor loadings is 0.82. Here on the next worksheet, I have the equations for average variance extracted and composite reliability. The same equations I used in the calculations here. I hope you found this video on calculating the average variance extracted and composite reliability to be useful. As always, if you have any questions or concerns, feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to assist you.